42 F-117 aircraft were deployed to support Operation Desert Storm. This was approximately 2% of the total combat aircraft involved in the campaign. Yet, the F-117 attacked 40% of the strategic targets, with no aircraft lost or damaged. The key to this success is state-of-the-art stealth technology, which allows this aircraft to perform its mission of attacking high-value targets in a dense threat environment with extreme accuracy. The F-117 is stealthy primarily because of its shape and materials. Highly swept edges and faceted surfaces act to deflect radar signals away from air or ground-based emitters. This unique inlet appears to radar as a flat surface rather than the highly reflective air inlet and engine face presented by a conventional design. The communications antennas are retractable and navigation antennas are constructed to reduce their radar signature. And the exhaust nozzles are designed to minimize both the radar and infrared signature of this hot area of the aircraft. The airplane structure is aluminum, steel, titanium, and composite. and the entire surface of the aircraft is specially coated to absorb radar energy. It is this attention to detail that reduces all signals that might alert an adversary to the F-117's presence. Okay, we're gonna be hitting this target pretty much from the uh, south, and you can see I've got a building, major building is an OAP and some crossroads as well as for an OAP. We're gonna need some blow ups of the targets. Also, uh, make sure I get some good quality of coordinates. Well, Katie, why don't you give me a rundown of what we got for as far as threats go. Okay, initially, uh, yeah, you really the country held the high ground. Yeah. They made a push here to the north. Uh, that's why there's sparse uh, actual shooter threats along the north here. But they still have some SAMs in place to the south. The virus... Since the F-117 is a single-seat fighter designed to fly alone at night in extremely high threat areas, an automated flight planning system is used to generate the complex mission plans that can fly the aircraft to the target area hands off. These mission plans contain all the data necessary to get the pilot safely to and from his target area. Navigation data, headings, altitudes, speeds, and time over target are generated by the computer system based on information from a variety of sources. All of the information is loaded into a data transfer module, which will then program the autopilot to fly the mission. To determine how close you are to your TOT at the first second of your TOT, for example, 2-1, uh, 2-1, 15, that's where you'll get the hack. You have a 10 second window, so it's a 10 second late. All weapons are carried internally on the F-117. Its normal load consists of two laser-guided 2,000-pound bombs. The weapon bay doors are fast-acting to minimize the exposure to threat radar. An improved version of the GBU-24 has been designed specifically for use in the F-117. Designated the GBU-27, it provides an improved ability to attack hardened targets.
The F-117 Stealth minimizes the need for support aircraft on its missions. In many cases, the F-117 can prosecute the attack without the need for defense suppression operations. This greatly reduces the cost of support operations and risk to the support crews. The F-117 is powered by twin, non-afterburning GE F-404 turbofan engines. It has an unrefueled mission radius of over 600 nautical miles with a full payload. With in-flight refueling, the F-117 can deploy to any military theater worldwide. Although many of the systems on the airplane are off the shelf, chosen for economy and proven reliability, the avionics are specifically tailored to the F-117's demanding mission. The navigation system has exceptional accuracy. The entire route to the target area can be flown by the navigation system. The pilot can monitor his progress on the digital moving map display. The flight plan legs will appear on the map display as color-coded vectors. The map display also contains reference elevation data so that the pilot always knows that he has sufficient ground clearance. The 4D flight management system, which controls the aircraft flight path, has been flying this mission from shortly after takeoff. This system will execute a pre-planned flight plan with surgical precision, putting the F-117 over its target within seconds of the planned time. The mission data planning system, coupled with the navigation and flight control system, will fly the aircraft to within visual range of the target, at which point, the infrared acquisition and designation system will allow the pilot to guide the airplane and then the weapon to its final mark. This system provides completely passive integrated weapons delivery, including forward-looking to downward-looking infrared handoff, as well as laser ranging and designation for weapon guidance to impact. The weapon delivery accuracy of the F-117 greatly reduces the risk of collateral damage around military targets. It reduces the number of weapons required to destroy a target. And it reduces the exposure of personnel to enemy fire. The F-117 is not just an airplane. It is a total attack system from its computer-generated flight plan to the coupled laser target designation. And unlike conventional fighters that must employ low and fast tactics for survivability, the F-117 can cruise efficiently at high altitude and subsonic speeds while remaining survivable in a high-threat environment.
The F-117's performance in actual combat operations demonstrated that the low observable features of the aircraft are easily maintained. During combat operations, the aircraft flew with reliability and maintainability comparable to other twin-engine fighters. Even though the F-117 is designed with stealth primarily in mind, it has excellent performance and flying qualities. It is fully maneuverable throughout its flight and with its roll and pitch rates comparable to other frontline fighter aircraft. While the F-117 is a combat-proven performer, advanced research continues to further enhance its mission flexibility and effectiveness. The F-117A has demonstrated that it has unmatched survivability while destroying high-value targets in a dense threat environment. Potential adversaries may possess superior numbers of weapons and near technological parity. The F 117A stealth fighter is a vital defense asset. I'm Colonel Al Whitley, the commander of the 37th Fighter Wing, based at Tonopah Test Range, Nevada. Last year at this time, the men and women of Team Stealth were still returning from Operation Desert Storm in the Persian Gulf. The world had just learned a dear lesson in the value of stealth technology combined with precision-guided munitions. And America had renewed its spirit and its youth and its ability to generate, to deploy, and employ in a faraway place and return victorious. And as I prepared those young men and women for combat, I can tell you that many times my mind raced back to the early years of this program, and I thought about the many challenges that faced us in the early days when we con were concerned about concurrency, early production, testing, and training, and racing to gain an, an, an initial operational capability in the F-117. But I can tell you that recently, just as then, a decade ago, that there was one common ingredient when it came to finding a solution, and that lay in the people. For regardless of the challenge, of the suspense, of the circumstances surrounding it, the people continue to be innovative and find a way to solve any problem that has confronted us. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what this reunion is all about, people. And I want to thank each and every one of you for going to the expense, for taking the time from your busy schedules and coming here this weekend to be a part of something that I think will be very, very special. It's a time for us to renew old acquaintances, to tell a few war stories, and to acknowledge what I call the end of an era and the beginning of another. For soon, we will complete our move from our home at Tonopah. As the wing moves, actually deactivates, and the squadrons move, retaining their names, the 415th, the 416th, and 17th, move to their new home in Holloman Air Force Base. And we can all be rest assured that Team Stealth and its rich heritage will continue. For one thing remains the same in the move, the people. And that's what Team Stealth is all about. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs>